Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and it's Horde Night 49. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try our, our new Horde base here. Uh, I didn't get it completely finished, but... Um, so so basically the return path is not you know all the way down to bedrock it's close i'm um, probably about maybe 20 meters down uh, away from it but just couldn't quite get it all the way uh, down there i've been just mining like crazy so um you know we got uh, oh we got a bunch we got levels we got four levels here and i want to show you too before the horde night starts i've got mining tool 60 uh which means that i can now make steel a steel pick and steel tools in general well hopefully i can i can actually make them i, I have the skill to make them uh the actual materials is a whole nother uh thing so it doesn't even show that in here where we can just see what it requires so steel pickaxe uh oh yeah okay we could we can i think we can do that because the pickaxe head is just going to require um, forged steel. Okay, nice. So we can make those. So we'll make one of those, and uh, I can make purple level picks now. Uh, also, with the you know the mining increase, so that's good. And uh, so yeah, this is a uh, the base is upgraded to reinforced concrete uh, for the most part, as you can see. And we got the two uh, poles there. I believe I showed you guys this base uh, in an earlier episode. By the way, uh, this is my first time back uh, after being gone for a week. Um, so I had a couple more episodes that I had pre-recorded that you guys will see before you see this one, but today is Monday, uh, September the 20th. So, so my first day back. And so getting back into the game, uh, spent a few hours, uh, just, you know, doing some more off camera stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, before I started this recording, I wanted to, to get the base, uh, you know, done or as close to being done as possible before I started the next episode. So uh, let's see. So in, in addition to mining uh, off camera, I've I, I did I took a trip to the desert because I needed more aloe for bandages. So I did that. And um, what else did we do? Uh, we we've been working on the garden. So I've I've replanted the garden a couple of times, and uh, it's growing. So <clears throat> excuse me. We've got to, you know we're starting to get a lot of good crops, which is great. And uh, other than that, yeah, just mining like crazy. So. Uh, let's see. Do we still have another point? Yeah, we do have one point left too. Um, so we, I've been working on sledgehammer too. So let's see. We've got, um, man, this is, I can't believe it. I've killed, I don't know how many zombies I've killed with sledgehammer weapons and I only have two points. So that's just freaking crazy, man. I'll tell you what. Um, so we have to get to 20 before we can even craft the iron sledgehammer. So we're going to have to rely upon just, you know, fine and or buying sledgehammers. So as far as our inventory goes, I've got, uh, I got some pipe bombs. So this isn't really conducive to using pipe bombs. Uh, the main reason I have those, I guess, is if we just, if, if this turns out that it's not going to work, I'm, I might try and retreat back to the, the old base. Um, you know, we'll see if I can even make it there. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I got stuff for repair. So we've got some gun repair kits for the shotgun. I got a full stack of shotgun shells. I'm not planning on using the guns primarily, but, you know, they're there for oh shit moments. Uh, I've got three normal repair kits. So the main weapon we're going to use tonight is probably the iron sledgehammer mostly, maybe the katana a little bit too. And like I said, if things get a little hot and heavy, we've got the shotgun and the, um, the AK. Uh, with uh, just a little over a full stack of that. So that's pretty much where we're at. I've got a little bit of mortar. Oh, in fact, I think I, I think I had a couple. Yeah, I got a couple things that I needed to touch up with that mortar. Um, you know, we've had sleepers again. Oh, that's the thing I forgot to do. I forgot to actually put my uh, land claim block down. So uh, these zombos should come up here. Uh, but the key to the, you know, to this base work, well, the, there's two significant keys to it. The the key is, one of the keys is that these little poles here don't break. So I'm going to have to keep them repaired. Uh, but the other is the re the return. Now, the thing is, is I'm not counting necessarily on the return working. Um, So that means the zombies are going to fall almost all the way down to bedrock. And if it doesn't work, they're just going to stay down there and just start tearing things up. So hopefully they won't tear things up so bad that um, it'll make the building collapse before the Horde Knight's over. I don't think that'll happen, but, you know, you never know. Uh, if the return does work somehow, some way, because I, I wasn't able to finish it, 
then you know that's good because you know the whole, the whole thing here is that they fall all the way down to bedrock and it takes them time to work their way all the way back up um and that means that we're not you know getting rushed by a bunch of them all at the same time we we have a little more time to you know to deal with them so to speak so we'll see how this works uh you know it's, it's something different than what I've been doing and it'll help us get the sledgehammer skill uh trained up let's also do the uh, graphics command here uh let's see Nope, not that. There we go. And uh, yeah, I wish me luck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well this is gonna go. This is Ravenhurst too, and it's day forty-nine. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Um. Yeah, here they come. Uh, the other thing too is, you know, I made the instead of that being a smooth ramp, I made it blocked. So again, it's just more stuff to slow the zombos down a little bit, so they can't just rush us so that's kind of the, the idea behind that oh okay he's like climbing up on there the head there or something out of stamina already all right can we knife you get some bleeding going oh we got a cop but see they can't all the nice thing about this is they can't all just stand there um did we kill him because um, because of the post, right? So they fall all the way down, and then they're supposed to have to work their way all the way back up to us. Now, if we start seeing um, less and whoa, what the what the hell was that? If we start seeing less and less zombies, that means you know they're stuck down there, and I think that's what's going to happen. But you know, we'll see what happens. They might be able to work their way back up here. We'll oh shit, cop! We'll just kind of see how that goes. Uh, swung a little too soon there. We gotta stay out of the the copper's line of sight. So, you know, he doesn't spit at us from way over there. Got a T1 soldier here. Nice. So yeah, hopefully we'll get you know, get a couple of points in sledgehammers. I, I I'm honestly I'm really surprised I don't have more because I've been using it to do a lot of killing. You know, for the for the daily group of zombos that always come through. But, you know, even if the... Okay, see, that nurse is, is damaged. With, so that suggests that she did come back up from the bottom. Um, so maybe this is working, but whether or not it'll work for the entire night remains to be seen. But once I'm finished with it, you know, then it should. Because I've done this design quite successfully before. But those nurses were all, you know, were all damaged. So that suggests that, you know, I got a couple of wax off on them before they fell down. See, that nurse is, is really damaged. Come on, big mama. Now, the other thing I could do, too, is I, I could try and hit him with the sword. The problem is most of them are going to fall down. They don't stay there for real long. But hitting them with the sword, you know, will get the bleed going on them. So even if they do fall down... They're starting to take more damage. So I should really try and kind of do both of those. Get you right in the knees there, Arlene. Okay, I'll give you give you some uh, katana sandwich there. And then Yeah, I, I think the majority of them are are going to be down there. See, and see, I didn't, I didn't give them any kind of a reinforced return path either, so all, all it takes is for them just to bust up a couple couple stones in the wrong place, and they're basically stuck down there for the whole rest of the night. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but here again, the fact that it's slowing down as much as it, as it is suggests that uh, they're stuck down there. But we'll see what happens. Ah, shoot. Went a little too soon there. All right. Come here, Darlene. All right. There's Nancy. Get the dust. Sounds like there's somebody, like, right behind me, but they should be pathing up this way. As long as those posts stay there, um, you know, they'll, they'll path up here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we'll give you a cut. And a head smash. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. If they go off to the side like that, then they're usually going to fall off. Come on, girls. Come on, ladies. Here comes another Spidey. Oh, yeah, this is, this is working out reasonably well. Feral Spidey Zombo. Something different. I'm not going to get the XP off of this one that I got off the other one. Um, but, you know, what I am getting is is sledgehammer skill and that sort of thing. So it's kind of paying off, I guess, in a different way, if you will. He'll probably bleed out. He was a T1, so he's a little tougher. Yeah, I can hear him down there breaking stone. So again, hopefully they, they don't break enough stone that, to collapse the building. But, uh... All right, guys. Well, I think at this point I'm going to... I'm probably just going to cut the camera, I guess, but keep the, you know, the record button ready in case something crazy happens. But see, the problem is, you know, we have a total of, in my on my settings, 32 zombies on Horde Night. And if all 32 of those zombies fall down there and nothing's killing them, then, you know, we're not going to get new ones. So that's the thing. But, you know, maybe some of them will have a TTL and, and we'll just get a trickle in, you know, for the rest of the night. And that's probably what's going to happen here. So I will, um, like I said, I'll keep my, ah, shoot, I'll keep my um, finger on the record button, so to speak, and uh, if something crazy happens, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll just uh, see you guys in the morning, okay? So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, guys, it is morning, and uh, as predicted, uh, I just had a trickle, not not even really that. <laughs> we, I might, maybe I killed half a dozen more Zekers after I left you. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to get away from the, uh, the area, uh, and let all the zombos that are down below, you know, despawn. And then we'll go down there and just kind of assess, uh, the destruction. Oh, they, they even pushed my, my bike back a little bit. Okay. So yeah, let's just go down the road a little ways and let them despawn, and then we'll come back and we'll see what they did. Now, um, you know, I could have I could have dug that pit by just digging around the perimeter all the way down and then removing the lower blocks and collapsing it, but I wanted to to dig the whole thing for the XP and for the materials. I'm actually getting a decent amount of, you know, the harder to get stuff like the. Uh, the limestone and the nitrate I've made several you know full stacks of of, um, of gunpowder uh, so it's even even though it's kind of tedious and takes a long time to do it's really it's really worth it you know for those reasons so that's why I'm kind of just digging the whole thing uh, but next uh, in, on the next horde night uh, the the good thing about it you know is that we we confirm that the pathing works um, well at least the the up above pathing I should say works so if we can get the, the return pathing to also work, then I think this will be a pretty decent horde base. Uh, I've got a couple other things, you know, I need to do to it as well uh, to get it fully ready to go. But uh, I think it's going to work okay. And, um, you know, we can we can use it for a bit and then, and then just kind of go on to other things when the time comes. Looks like we have a... Uh, oh. Uh, Hawaii 5 in there, and we got a crawler. I don't think these guys are Hordies, Horde Night Zombos, though. I think they're just the the morning spawn that comes in. 
But, uh, you know, there, there's really... Yeah, these are sleepers. I've got to get the... Where did he go? I've got to get the um, land claim block in here, too. But I wanted to I wanted to make sure it was going to actually work first. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, you know, they, they really haven't done any damage at all to speak of uh, down here. Whoa. There you are. He must have jumped out the window or something. So it's going to be a good... It's going to be a good horde base for for training up melee, basically. Uh, but it's not it's not going to be. I don't think it's going to be a really big XP farm unless. Well, it could be down the road once we get, you know, really good with our melee. Um, it could be at that point. So, all right, let's get some bleeds on you. He was almost down, but I think he was about ready to hit us. Man, you ugly. Okay. Uh, didn't quite get the sledgehammer hit off on her. Let's give you a, a thump on the head there. Just gotta wait for the stamina to come back. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I... I don't know if I showed this uh, to you guys in the last episode, but I've, I've got full sexual Tyrannosaurus now. Uh, so we are, yeah, we're, we're maxed out on that. So, you know, that's helping quite a bit, of course. Uh, we have two points to spin, too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, at least one of those into mother load. What does this allow us to do? Yeah, you know, because the, we're, we're coming into the garden, it would not be a bad idea to put some points into that. <clears throat> um, doesn't look like... Yeah, you know what I'm going to do, you guys? I'm just going to finish this one out. Because I still have a lot of mining to do, and we're just going to get, you know, we're going to get more resources from that. So, okay, anyway, let's go head on down and just see what happened here. So, I, I'm eventually going to line the, f the floor of this place... Okay, yeah, so they definitely did some damage in here. But I'm eventually going to align the floor of this place with concrete. But uh, it looks to me like they... Okay, they... Oh, okay, so they started digging back up towards me instead of going up the path. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. But it could just be because, you know, they, they kind of broke the path. In fact, I'll bet you that's exactly what it was. They, they broke this out here, and they could no longer path up this way. Not smoothly anyway, so they started moving up this way. That's almost guaranteed what happened there. Uh, and then there's more digouts down here. And this goes um, up as far as I got, you know, the pit done. So, yeah, see, there's the pit there, and they just fell down through here and kept digging. So, okay, they didn't they didn't do, you know, too too terrible much damage down here. Not as much as I thought they were going to. Got a bunch of lead there too, but not that I need lead. I got a ton of lead. Those little holes up there were, you know, were my original tunnel zigzagging down here. So, this isn't too bad really. And um I can just keep working on this and I should, you know, by the time we do uh, the next horde night uh, which will be 56, uh, we should be all the way down to bedrock, and then I'll, um, you know, make the path. Because this, this is bedrock here. And, you know, I just, I got tons and tons of stone. I, I'm still, I still have got a freaking backpack upgrade. So I'm dealing, I'm dealing with early game encumbrance, even though I'm, you know, well into the mid game game, and it's just a pain in the butt. And it isn't for lack of you know, checking nightstands and the other things, you know, lockers and whatever. But, you know, that being said, we haven't done a ton of looting either. But this is my top priority. I, I need to get the horde base completely finished first before we can go on and, and do other things. So, anyway, all right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to cut the camera here and um, just kind of do oh actually no you know what let's go make a let's go make ourselves a steel pick uh, the thing is though is i don't think i have enough 
Uh, I don't think I'm enough steel. We need 20 steel to make the pick head. Let's go look. Oh, the, the trader has resets too. Let's go check out the trader's inventory. So we'll do that first. Looks like they finally busted the door all the way out. And I think... Do we need to take a job from you? No, we're, it's the one we currently have. Okay. So let's take a look at his inventory. We'll look at secret stash first. Here's a motorcycle chassis for 12000 That's kind of expensive. Iron fire axe is pretty cheap. Urban combat volume 4. Okay, where do you know that? All right, let's look here. It's got a cheap AK. Uh, what about in your tools? Got some iron shovels, dart trap, advanced bellows. Gumbo stew recipe. Oh, we okay, we need to buy that. Absolutely need to buy that. I've got I've got like seven thousand coin you or so great day now. in the bike. So that'll give us a couple of high level recipes that we can do now, because we can also do hobo stew. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to food. Or, no, not food here. Yeah. It's a little expensive, but, you know, I, I think it it's it's a good um, a good thing to buy for us right now is what I'm trying to say. I'm kind of tired. I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just take a quick look at everything else that he's got. It's got a muzzle brake mod, some sham chowder, 20 potatoes. Da, 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 da. Helmet light mod, we already have that. Steroids for a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have anything super fantastic at this point uh, for us. So we'll have to go check the other traders and, you know, see what they have too. Uh, but this is cool. Y'all so, come back now. Y'all come back now. All right, so now we can make gumbo and hobo stew. Off with your head. Okay, so let's go see how much steel I actually have. I might have to go wrench some traffic lights and some vending machines and find some transformers on the ground which you can usually find at like um junkyards and oh i need gas too yeah i'm like completely out of gas i have no i have no extra gas so we're gonna have to do that too i'm pretty low on leather so you know what we need to do we need to go do some more pois that's what we need to do that is what we need to do. So, yeah, so you only have 11 steel. I need a total of 20. How much leather do I have? Da, 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 da. Uh, wait. I don't have any leather at all? Is it in here? I've got three of those pieces. Wow, I guess... I don't have any leather. I thought I had a little bit more left. Are my eyeballs just missing it? No, I don't see it in there. Okay, we're like completely out of leather. We need that to make the handle. Shoot, okay. Uh, I didn't put it somewhere else, did I? I had to make another overflow bin because I'm just, you know, I'm getting so much lead and stuff. And, you know, look at all the coal and the iron. I've been smelting the iron and the stone. We've got um, over two full stacks of limestone. But the problem here is, is believe it or not, murky water, or, or more specifically jars. I can't make jars. I need them like a, an advanced blacksmith station thingamadoodle for that. Uh, again, another reason for us to go do some POIs. So this is completely full of stone. This is completely full of stone with some sand. And then I started filling that up too. I mean, I got stone coming out my ears. It's just nuts. Okay, well, um, let me uh, get situated here, and then I think we're going to go ahead and hit some more POIs and do some trader quests at the same time. So I will uh, be back in a little bit, and we'll get started on that. All right, guys, we're here trying to get some more gas and doing the usual rigor rigmarole here. These zombos just come out of the frickin' woodwork, man.
Okay, so we'll fill up the tank and then uh, we got almost a full stack. Okay, that, that'll be good enough for now. Uh, why can't I get that out of my inventory? What the hell? It's stuck. Okay, whatever. Stupid bug. It happens sometimes. Okay, let's go over to the junkyard here and um, there should be a couple of transformers that we can wrench to get some steel so we'll park right here okay, get you bleeding up another crawler over there did we we already checked this yeah that's a broken pump Okay, let's get our wrench. Oh no, do we not get steel from those or did I just get some bad RNG? All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Let's put these on. All right, well, that gets us some more leather, which we need. Check this box. Some oil. We've got some oil. Okay, uh, inside of here there should be another um, transformer that we can wrench. Come to Papa. Nobody behind me? Okay. Alright. I think that's it. Oh, there's a bump inside of here, too. That workbench actually works. Okay, so let's hit this. There we go. We got some steel. Okay, yeah, I must have just gotten some bad RNG on that other one. Uh, let's get the pump. Nice. Okay. Fill that back up. Let's check the car. And we're going to look in the lockers. Man, it would be nice if we could get a backpack upgrade. And I don't want those bones. I got lots of bones. How about some beef stew in here? And yeah, we'll take a golden rack. Backer Zombo. Get some bleeds going on you. in the bookcase. Come on, give me a backpack upgrade. Uh, what's this do? Learn how to craft steel? Oh, nice. Okay. And what's this do? T-shirts and hats? Nah. I'm gonna just sell that. we got in here that's pretty nice stuff actually yeah, we'll take that got an Arlene and an Edgar and a vulture outside Um, I guess we could go inside. There's a um, there's a safe in here. Um, yeah, let's check this stuff too. 
that I will take. Oh shit, that's scary. <laughs> you came through the frickin' uh, window. Alright, we got infected. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. I should have some honey in the in the mini bike. Coming in hot, dude. Now where are you going? <laughs> Dumbass. This guy's got some serious brain worms. Okay, let's get some more bleeds on you. I'm gonna take another one of these two. Alright, that should kill him. I would think. Two things of gunpowder. Not taking that. There, he's dead. Alright, let's get this door open. Make sure nobody's gonna sneak up behind me here. Is this uh, a wrenchable? No, it's not. Okay. In the sink. There we go. Is it just you, Marlene? Here. Buddy. I didn't know you were in there. These guys really bug out, man. It's funny. Okay, let's go in here. Might as well look in this thing. You done bleeding? Okay, he's dead. All right, let's go ahead and put those there. Wait, are they in here already? Yep, they are. Oh, shoot. I missed. Okay, let's see if we can open this safe up. Okay, we got a nice bow, so yeah, pretty decent stuff overall. All right, um, 
So how much, <clears throat> excuse me, we got four pieces of steel. I can't remember if I needed four or six pieces. Uh, but I think that's all the steel we can get from the, from here. Is there anything I can get rid of? Eh, not, not really. We can get rid of four pieces of wood. A universal remote. That'll give us plastic. One plastic? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, uh, let's eat this. That'll free up another slot. And we'll drink this. Get us a jar. Okay. All right. Well, um, street lamps. This is what we can do. Oh, you know what, though? We can't. We can't nerd pull. You coming down here? That's going to make things a little more interesting, getting the street lamps. I mean, I can make ladders. Is there a way to... Oh, yeah. Here, we could do this. We got this. Um, well, if we can get it to connect. What? <laughs> Here. There we go. Yeah, it's probably just going to be easier to do it this way. Is that enough to reach it? Not quite. Okay. That's probably enough to reach it. Awesome. There we go. Got some more steel out of that one, too. Um. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just going to have to zigzag up that way. But we can do, do that. That's not hard to do, actually. Not hard to do. That gives us five things of steel. And again, uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't remember if I needed four or six... But if we can find another street light, which we should be able to do, uh, then we can get the rest of the steel. There's a bus on top of that building. That's funny. That is funny, man. I'm like super encumbered here. Let's check the car. Um, you guys were telling me in the comments that I need a crowbar. I'm not going to loot any of that stuff. I need a crowbar to... Um, Get the stuff I need to make the 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 bike. So, all right, you guys. Well, uh, we are we're out of time here. I think for this episode. So what I'm gonna do is let you go here, and then uh, we'll we'll probably pick up not too long after I leave you here, and we're gonna go hit some more POIs. Um, not only for the sake of hitting some more POIs and all the goodies that come along with it, but you know, we need jars, we need leather, uh, we just need a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, the best way to get that stuff at this point is just to keep doing POIs. So that is the plan for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, we got a buzzer to kill. Where'd you go? Come here. I am so encumbered. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. See you later.